Slip into slumber with the exotic fragrance of frankincense and rose. Thanks, love. Well, you know, I thought it'd be your kind of thing. Yes, I know, cos I bought it you for Christmas. Even used the same paper. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm just doing a bit of recycling, saving the planet. Hiya. So. Uh... Happy birthday. I'm sorry I missed the start of it. She had twins, by the way. The cow, which didn't do my back any good. Oh, yeah, what did you do again? Pick up a nail file, wasn't it? It lost. You know it was a mug. And it's in the way you twist. It's in the way you flex. It's in the way you bend. Just ignore her. Her back's not cracking either. Knocking on a bit, you know, to be throwing shapes. Excuse me, it wasn't shapes I was throwing last night. Vanessa stayed over. Right, grab your coat. I'm going to take you for brunch, but we have to go, like, right now. Oh. Aw, it's Aaron. Texting me, you know, to say happy birthday. Showed up at the bar last night, you know. And then Robert left with this really fit chef. And? Nothing that won't wait. Thank you. Looking for something? Yeah. I heard Liv go to school. Uh, thought I'd left him down here last night. Well, you didn't. And, um. Welcome home. Ever since she gave me this back, I've kept them close. I think it's time we went back on. Yeah, I think so. So, um, what do we tell Liv? The truth. And we both do it. Together. Oh. Oh, I can smell food. Ay, <laughs> <I> caramba. <laughs> sure all. These are donuts sprinkled with sugar, followed by... Huevos rancheros. The spicy eggs and cornbread. Not totally authentic, but... You know, no, no, but it's the nearest thing to being in Mexico, which we will be. And you have to wear these. Ooh, with Marlon in the room. <laughs> right, I'll leave you two lovebirds to smash the piñata. It's not a euphemism, it's... <laughs> hey, your birthday girl. Mm, OK. Well, but my aim's not going to be very good with this on, is it? Eh? Oh, give it some belly. Ready? Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> 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 oh! <laughs> One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three! <laughs> First morning back in my own bed, and I wake up to the sound of decorators farting outside my bedroom door. Good to have you back. How was Brussels? Interesting. Missed much, have I? Weather's been a bit dull. Any news on Ross? Police are still investigating. Apparently, he has a history of upsetting some very dodgy people. And the Dingles have started to rebuild. Looks like your offer is... Off the table. All the more reason to offload the golf course. When something gets this much trouble, it's best just to let it go. You've got to sell. Are you interested? <laughs> a bit above my price range, I think. The online shopping's due. Go and collect it, will you? On it like a bonnet. Good to have you back, Mr. Tay. It's good to be back, Jimmy. If you push him any further, and it'll crack. Just giving him a chance to prove his worth. That's all. Uh, bend your foot for me, Chance, please. No. Answer the phone, Paddy. OK, about that way. No, can't be done. Hello? Hi, yeah? Not too bad. Uh, no, I'm just at the doctor's with Chance. Yes, 
That's fine. She's fine. It's her ankle. Well, I don't think it's broken. Have you got any ice at home? I live in a pub. Yeah. All right. We'll be back as soon as possible. Bye. I'm gonna have to go. No, just go then. Get a taxi back. Sorry. Shoo! So, raise it, ice it, apply compression, take some anti inflammatories. If it doesn't settle, you can come back. Ah, oh, cheers, Doc. Oh, before you go, you do know you missed an appointment for your second contraceptive injection? Yeah, yeah, I've been meaning to make another one. Well, we might as well do it while you're here. I think we've got that in stock. I'll see if the nurse is free. I'm still covered, aren't I? I mean, that stuff does stay in your system, yeah. We have been using alternative contraception. Not really, no. You've been through all this on your own. And after I made those jokes that you fancied you, why didn't you tell me? Oh, I didn't want to bother you with it. Not until I knew what was going to happen. Not the kind of thing you shout about, is it? That part of my life, I just... hoped I could forget it. Back to that now. The police have just called. Phil's been charged with blackmail and harassment. But he denies it. Reckons I made it all up, so it looks like we're going to court. Because who wouldn't want the past raked up by some hostile barrister? Tracy, you've been through enough, and now he's going to make you suffer even more. Oh, that's great, isn't it? We're not going to keep it out of the papers now. No, the police said they can keep my name out of it. Yeah, but not Phil's. People know that we were mates, and as soon as it comes out that the victim was from round here, it's not going to take people long to put two and two together, is it? <sighs> and Jake is going to end up finding out. Mom, please, I really need the loo. I've been crossing my legs the whole way back. Just, just five minutes behind the bar, we packed. Victoria's off. Sherry's nipped out. Oh, when does she ever nip in? And when she does bother to work, all she ever does is chat Vanessa up and read magazines in the cellar. And organise surprise birthdays. Surprise! surprise. Wow, that's, that's brilliant. Hang on. Happy birthday, my gorgeous girl. <laughs> <laughs> so go on, how did you do that? I mean, did you kick Paddy because his surprise was so lame? No, actually, I was trying to hit a pinata. Don't ask. Sorry, I'm late. Alarm got its head stuck in a gate. Uh, um, I'll be right back with you people, cos if I don't take a comfort break now, you're gonna have to get a mop. But, you know, carry on. Told you. Shit surprise parties. Yeah, have you two had a row or something? Not when we'd left the doctors. Well, something's bothering her. Well, hey, if she don't want a party, why don't we do it for her? Come on. Jacob's gonna hate me for this. He's not gonna judge you. No one who knows you will. <sighs> Once he knows I slept with some sleaze for cash. He loves you, Tracy. He'll be proud of you for taking this fill on. Jacob already blames me for Layla leaving. He's just gonna think I'm a liability, like I'm dragging you down. So, if Phil does plead guilty, that would mean you didn't have to go to court, right? And the chances of that are... I thought this was all in the past. Where it belongs. And then I was back there. Freezing cold. Scared in front of him. He looked at me like I was nothing. I just don't want Jacob to look at me in the same way. Then I think it's best we don't tell him. Unless we really have to. There's bugs in the pub. Oh, I don't share facilities if I don't have to. Besides, the toilet paper's softer up here. Oh, that Prosecco goes right through me like a horse. <laughs> All right, love. Fine. Only, you do know there's a party downstairs in the bar with your name on it. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna do my slap and have it down. Right. Say? What's what say? The pregnancy test. What pregnancy test? The one you got shoved down your bra. I don't know. 
I'm too scared to look. I don't feel pregnant. I mean, I can't be pregnant. Congratulations, love. You're going to be a mum again. Hey. Thanks for returning none of my texts. It's been a bit full on. Yeah, well, I don't need a silent partner. I need a partner who pulls his weight and turns up to run his haulage business. I'll see what I can fit in. I hope you're not shopping on my time, Jimmy. I unpacked your supermarket order and it was short, so I've topped you up with a few basics. Really? I like your style, Jimmy. Using your initiative. I'm sorry, do you want something? Yes, Richard, I do. It's Robert. Now that I've tracked him down, I want to work with my executive assistant. Who's that? I'm looking at him. He really proved himself while I was away, and uh, I like to empower my employees. What, by making him buy toilet roll? That's fantastic. Terrific. Uh, thank you, Mr Tate. Whatever. Look, Jimmy, I'm taking some time off to sort my life out, and for once, it's, it's going really well. So, unless you can find a driver for the Brussels job, then we're going to lose a client. And we don't want that, do we, Richard? Good luck running things single-handed. And uh, that accountant needs the VAT paperwork. Jimmy, the king of multitasking. Oh, uh, did you remember to drop off my dry cleaning? I'm on it right away, Mr Tate. Executive assistant. You were right. He has proved what he can do. Now it's time for his reward. Nico, guess who got promoted? Hey, get out of my house! No! Well, hello, Jimmy. <laughs> Good to see you, too. I thought you were a burglar. Did the outfit give it away? Wh why? Dad's come to stay. Now, he got back from Ibiza to find that Bob and Brenda were in the healing stage of their relationship and they well, needed some more space. Because there's so much of that here. Yeah, well, I, I'll make myself useful and scarce uh, whenever necessary. I promise you, you won't even know that I am here. Misty, sweetheart. Yeah, oh, yeah, burning rod misses you too. Yeah, 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 I've been fantasizing about that hot tub night ever since I left the island. <laughs> Look, I'll get some privacy and I'll, I'll call you straight back. Misty. Burning rod. You know, that's my professional name. I had to retire, Magic Rod. <laughs> well, there's not much call for a sleight of hand in a costume-optional hot tub. Misty and I were a double act. Ah, I can't wait for you to meet her. <laughs> oh, couldn't keep away, eh? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be back yet. Where's Aaron? What's wrong? Uh, nothing, um... Me and Aaron, we're back together. No way can I have another baby. Everyone thinks that at first. I was the same with you. No, me and Paddy, we're going to Mexico. We've got tequila toys and, and margarita nights, and it, it's all booked. I can't do this to him, not when he's had no choice. Oh, it could be the making of you both. Paddy. Loves you to death. You never know, he might even make an honest woman of you. Or he could run a mile. I mean, if he thinks that I'm one of them women that's just going to get pregnant to get a ring on her finger. He knows you better than that. Since when did you lock the door? Give us a minute, love. Well, whatever you're up to in there, the taxi's booked. So get your dancing shoes on and get out here. Be there in a minute. After I've sorted Mother out. You know what she's like when she laughs? The pelvic floor is shot to pieces, isn't it? Well, I can't tell her the truth, can I? One word, and you are dead. Alex is great. You know, he talks me through all the bad stuff. The stuff that you'd have known about if you'd given a toss. I never stop caring about you, Liv. And you get Aaron to dump him for you. Even though you'll dump him the second that you find another woman to get pregnant. Look, I messed up, right? But I won't do it again. I love him, Liv. I loved you, like a brother. Me, you and Aaron, we were solid. We were a family. 
I was, I was stupid and selfish. I, I broke everything. I'm sorry. I needed you. And you just weren't here anymore. I promise you, I'm, I'm going nowhere. You're like a sister to me. I love you. And I'll never let you down again. I, I really want to make this work, Liv. I'll do whatever it takes, please. Please, just let me make it right. So, you're back with Robert. Wait, you left with that chef? Yeah, well, he ended up with me last night, all right? We're together, and it's what I want. Well, the heart wants what it wants. <laughs> Seriously? Surely that's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing, expecting a different result. You're an adult, love. Who you fall in love with is none of my business. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Look, I'm happy if you're happy. Actually, if you're happy, we're all happy. I think you're very brave. Not many blokes would take on another fella's kid. I'm not brave. I'm just happy. Well, it's a good job, then. Because you're about to say goodbye to your entire <laughs> social life. <laughs> <laughs> Only for the next 18 years. Come on, they're worth every magical, mystical moment, aren't they? Like you'd know. Uh, nappies, projectile vomit, screaming, screaming, uh, weird smells. Just a normal night in bed with you, according to Chas. Oh, take it from me, babies do not stop you living your life. Exactly. I mean, it hasn't cramped your style any, has it? Look. Because she just lets hers go feral and hopes for the best. <laughs> <laughs> if it's what you want, then it's your life. This baby, well, it could be the making of the pair of you. Genuinely happy for you, mate. You look almost as happy as I do. Child free. And we're looking at a month necking tequila in Mexico. Doesn't get much better than that. Uh, happy hey. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, child. Happy birthday to you. I was sitting at the bar. Minding my own business, there was a whiff of paraffin, and this Amazonian goddess breathes fire into my face. <laughs> and she's interested in you. Well, she has this theory. Twin flames. She thinks that we were lovers in a previous life. Oh, several previous lives. So she taught me everything she knew, and just like that, Burning Rod was born. She does know you've got no money. Misty is the least materialistic woman I have ever met. Ah, should have found an internet connection. I'll just slip upstairs and we can carry on where we left off. Misty can't be a real name. Well, she can't be a real woman. No one like that. I'd be interested in him. I hate you, Rod! No, Let's go! No, 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 don't! Put it back in here! Well, what's going on? <laughs> Joking. I, I told her about us. I, I didn't have a choice. She, she walked in on me and the chicken. I was. We didn't want you to find out like that. We were both going to sit you down and talk you through it. Well, there's no need. We've, we've had the trap. Well, it's what we both want. Yeah, I'm sorry. Alex is gone. He was great. But I am happy he's back. And you're not lining me up. She says she's going to give me another chance, but I'm still on probation. So. We're good? We're good. So that's one down? Well, I've already told my mum. And ruined her birthday? I thought she was going to go off at one, but actually she didn't even seem that bothered. How much she had? <laughs> well, if she's not going to do it, then I will. Look after him, love him, but mess him around again and you'll have me to deal with, all right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Step away from the marker. He is so drunk he could barely even remember his own name. I'm just helping him out. Yes, he's going to thank you for that when he wakes up. Do one. Oh. Spark out. Oh, he's drunk enough to fell a horse. You told him. After what he just said. 
thinks everything's perfect. I can hardly drop the P-bomb now. Well, he didn't know. Mind you, as soon as he does, everything's going to be different. I love my life just the way it is. After Gordon and Cameron and Carl, I mean, I never thought I'd trust another man. Hello, we've got the next 364 days to lurk in corners, thanks. Tonight, we're going to tear up the dance floor. My ankle is killing me. Well, yeah, only cos you haven't necked enough. When did I have to force a drink down? You and your birthday. I'll be right with you, eh? <laughs> Fine. Well, I'll crack open another bottle for the taxi and I'll dig out the shiwi. Well, well you and Prosecco will be stopping every half a mile, won't we? Oh. Whatever happens, I will not let this spoil what I've got. <laughs> He's a funny unicorn. <laughs> what do you want to tell him before we go? That's the point. It's plastered. And no matter how much I wish I wasn't, I will still be pregnant in the morning. Next, we've Coronation Street as Phelan issues a dark warning. That continues later at 8.30. Alan Titchmarsh is here at 8 for Love Your Garden, creating a wild wonderland in a tiny plot for a family in Durham. And then at 9, memories of childhood give Riggs nightmares in Lethal Weapon.